In this video, I want to talk about ways that you can protect your bicycle from scratches and things that may occur while riding or even transporting your bike. The impetus of this video has come out of questions on my YouTube channel. I'll be using a mountain bike for this video, but these techniques will definitely apply to a cyclocross bike or even a road bike. The first thing that I'll start off with is frame saver tape. I get this from Colorado Cyclists. I know there are other brands out there of frame saver tape. I've actually never tried them. Uh, this is one that I've found works really well, so I've stuck with it. It's not cheap. Like I said, I order it directly online through the Colorado Cyclist. Um, by the time you pay for the tape and the shipping, it's about $15. But one roll will do about three bicycles, so it goes a long way. I like it because it's durable. It protects the bike really well. And when it comes time to peel it off, it's really not that hard to get off. It peels off. Sometimes it'll leave a residue and you just take some rubbing alcohol on a washcloth and rub off that residue. So I'm going to show the areas that I use this on my bicycle. So I'll go over the bike and show the areas that I put this frame saver tape on. First, I put it under the down tube. And this cuts really well with a pair of scissors and I kind of shape it before I put it on uh, and then make my cut and then peel it off and stick it on. And I have found that using a hair dryer to warm it up a little bit after it's on the bike will help it stick. Now sometimes you'll get bubbles and I just put this on recently so I do have some bubbles in there and you can press them out with your thumb. Um, but protecting the down tube is important on a mountain bike, even a gravel or cyclocross bike, and I would probably do it on a road bike as well in case you get little rocks that come up from your front tire and hit the frame. So that's the down tube, underneath the down tube where I put the frame saver tape. I'll also put some on the seat stay of the bicycle to protect the frame from my heel. So a lot of times your heel will come up and rub the frame and you really, you don't have to do the entire length. I start from about here and end about here. And I actually cut the tape in half long ways. So uh, I don't use an entire thick strip for this. And that way it'll give me two pieces, one for this side and also one for the left side. And for similar reasons, I also put some on a crank. Now, not all cranks are flat so that you can put frame saver tape on, but Shimano cranks you can. And just like I protect the seat stay from my heel, I also like to protect the crank from my heel. Um, I've had some cranks where I have worn it down to the shiny metal uh, before I started using this frame saver tape. So um, your heel can rub and my, I'm the kind of person, my heels go inward so my toes go out. So my heels will make contact with my crank. So I like to protect the cranks. On a disc mountain bike, I would recommend putting one on the chain stay, on the left chain stay, because and, and this goes, wraps kind of on the inside. It's hard to see in the video, but it goes all the way down uh, and all the way actually underneath the bottom of this chainstay. And the reason I do that is because when you're putting a rear wheel into your dropouts, oftentimes the rotor will make contact with the frame as you're putting it in. And you can get some pretty gnarly scratches on the inside of your frame when you put the wheel in. So I like putting a piece there. And I'm zooming in on that same piece from the other side so you can see from the inside of the frame what it looks like. And then I'll put little pieces of tape at various parts of the frame where cables or hoses will contact. For example, this rear brake hose contacts the inside of the seat stay. So I just cut a little piece and put it right there at that contact point. Also, I'll put a little piece of tape inside the fork where the front brake hose runs and by the way, you should run your uh, brake hose inside the fork so it doesn't catch on anything on the trail on the outside. But I do put a little piece of tape right there where the hose makes contact. Sometimes I'll put one piece, if you can see it in the video there, right there where the water bottle, in case your uh, water bottle makes contact with the frame on really rough terrain. Even though I don't have a piece on this top tube, I will put a piece of frame saver tape on the top tube where my bike rack makes contact with the frame. So my bike rack is the one that has a hook that comes over the frame and touches it. And I have never gotten a scratch under normal conditions when 
the bike rack makes contact with the frame. I really like that style of rack that I have because it, it holds the bike really securely. And so when it comes time to put this bike on the bike rack, I will line up the hook and put one piece of frame saver tape about this long, maybe an inch and a half long, uh, just so it has a little bit of play. And again, that really protects it from the bike rack. Now I'll get to my infamous homemade chain stay protector. And I've got more questions and comments about this thing. Uh, and this is simply an old inner tube held on with the zip ties. So I'll start it at the front. I have a whole video on how to make this. So search my channel or search YouTube for homemade chain stay protector and you'll see how I make this. It's real simple. The reason I like using this is because it, I can wrap it pretty close up to the bottom bracket along the chain stay. And a lot of the neoprene ones, even the ones that come with bikes or come on a bike, don't go all the way up and you'll get chain slap underneath. So the chain can come up and hit underneath your chain stay and I can wrap it pretty far back too. So I don't even start it with zip ties, but I do end it with two zip ties. I know it's not pretty. I put it on all my bikes. Uh, it's not for everyone, like I mentioned in the video where I show how to make this, but it's cheap, it's light, and it does a very good job. So that's the way that I protect, protect my chain stay. And finally, I use these crank boots, is what I call them. They're made by Raceface. They're really light, and you just pull your pedal off, put one of these on the end of the crank arm, and then put your pedal back on, and that's what holds them on and they protect your cranks from bashing into rocks. Now, I would probably not use one of these on a road bike, uh, maybe not even on a cyclocross or gravel bike, but definitely on a mountain bike if you wanna protect your crank arms from bashing on rocks as you ride. So there are a few tips you can use to protect your bicycle. Now, just remember, at the end of the day, it is a bike, things are gonna happen. You're gonna have sticks, rocks hit your bike, you're gonna have the bike probably fall over in the garage at one point. So when that happens, don't sweat it too bad, but you can use these tips to minimize the damage. As always, if you have any questions or comments about this video, leave them below. If it was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching.